a boy. It actually wasn't great. Like he held onto it like a Malinois yeah. and growled on his way up. If I want to fix every dog today. I really do. I want to fix every dog's problem that's in here right now. And I'll get to the problems. If there are problems, I want to fix them. That's my goal. It's not to make a video on YouTube. I see nobody with a gentle lead around today. Here's what we're going to do because we're at that point. We're going to condition this guy to a gentle leader on this dog right here because he needs something, something different than the prong, something different than the collar, something different than a choke chain. You got to change it up. Finley is a one year old doodle, sheep a doodle. Finley has come to my facility before. Here's what I'm going to do with Finley and then I'm going to do with you, I think. Finley barked. 15 times over here, stimulated by dogs. They said that the gentle leader, she goes and hides with the gentle leader. They also said she fights the gentle leader. I don't care about either of those two things. I don't want you to care about either of those two things. You know what I care about? That piercing bark. Yes. I would rather, do, do you want your dog to go and hide when the gentle leader comes out? No, but there's ways to fix that. We're gonna associate this gentle leader with Cahoots treats, I'm a big fan of these new Cahoots treats, by the way. Smoked beef, they have all different flavors over there. They're small, these are good. These are like some of the best treats there are, okay? So, I'm gonna associate this gentle leader with treats. Associate anything you want with treats. You want people to come over who has the, leash re the, the person reactive dog. The person has nothing to offer your dog. This gentle leader has nothing to offer your dog. So let's associate the gentle leader and the person coming over with the greatest thing in the world. And all you want to do is go, gentle leader's on, greatest thing in the world's coming. Dude came to the house, greatest thing in the world is coming. Okay? Over and over again. Gentle, the gentle leader, I am not a spokesman for them. They should give me money. They do not give me money but they should because I'm the biggest fan of them. It's the single greatest dog training invention ever made. When Finley leaves me, she hits the end of the leash and instead of it being a prong or a hit with the collar or a choke chain or a harness, her whole head turns like a horse. And she is a horse. She's 65, 70 pounds, right? I mean, she's pretty big. So she needs to feel something different when she hits the end. Then Finley kind of comes to me and she can get a treat. I'm just gonna cruise around. Maybe I'm gonna say hi to your dogs. Maybe I'm not. Come on. Finley didn't wanna come. I don't really care. Is this dog nice? Yeah, four months old. Finley, come on, go say hi to your friend. Good girl, Finley. Yes. Loose leash. When you're meeting dogs with a reactive or any dog, Always have a loose leash. Your leash should not be like this. If a dog were to react, you have no recourse and your leash should not be like this and you should not be looking at your phone. And, make sense? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk over here, come on. I want you for five minutes to be walking around this store, listening and walking and conditioning this dog to a gentle leader. Okay. I already did the chicken, you're fine without it. I would just start cruising. Okay. okay, we're gonna get this dog conditioned today. The proof's in the pudding, that dog has not barked since I put that thing on. Cause the dog's a little tripped out. The dog's usually full of herself. Now she's a little like, I don't like this thing. That's okay. Um, dogs cannot like everything in life. That is okay. You know what else you can do on a gentle leader? When your dog's meeting a dog and it might bite a dog, if you if they go to bite a dog and you correct them on a collar or on a harness or on a harness or on a choke chain or on anything that sits here, they get to that dog. A foot more, if your arms extend three feet more, you have no control. You know how far a dog gets when it goes to bite another dog when I have a gentle leader on the dog? Two inches? Literally, the teeth part instantly turn when they hit the end of the leash. It's the greatest thing ever. Here's how you get off a gentle leader. We got gentle leader here, we got one here. He put one on him. Uh, you use the gentle leader at the beginning of the walk 
then middle of the walk, you take the leash off the gentle leader and you put it on the collar. We're phasing out or fading out the gentle leader. Make sense? So it's still on, the stimulus is still there, but it's not being used. Then, three-fourths of the way through the walk, you take off the gentle leader completely. Then you er do that process earlier and earlier on the walk. Make sense? If this video on how to properly use the gentle leader and eventually get off the gentle leader helped you, then please subscribe to this channel. The next video you're going to see is on resource guarding. You should never be doing a method that gets you bit. None of my methods get people bit. If you see me grab the Kong in a minute out of this Malinois mouth, it's because the Malinois is young. Would I do this to a 130 pound Anatolian Shepherd? No, I would use the other method that I talked about, which is the shock and awe method. Don't ever get bit, okay? I have been bit one time in my whole career working with aggressive dogs. Essentially, essentially, I don't get bit using these methods. You should not be getting bit using these methods either but we need realistic methods. This resource guarding method, I'm gonna give you two to three points about resource guarding, should work, okay? In the comment section, comment if you have any questions. He'll bite you. Yeah. He's bit you? Uh, like, yeah, but not too, on the hand, not too aggressively. Just kind of like that. Is know. there anything in the Kong? He'll just bite you over a con an empty no, Kong? No, only if it's stuffed and oh. it's, it's, or pig ear. Oh, something good, high value, right. No dog has ever done that to me at the board and train. Why hasn't no one done that to me? I'm gonna tell you a specific thing to do and then a big picture thing to do. It's kind of back to that bossy thing. You run the house. You asked him to get off the furniture, he didn't do it, you grabbed him. Uh, he jumped on you, you kept walking. Like, there's no jumping on the boss. Like, once you do that, it does help the resource guarding, but I'm not saying it's gonna fix it, okay? Now we're gonna go what, how I actually fix it. I haven't seen it in a long time with me a private session, it happened once, I think, twice. I go shock, I call it shock and awe. Dog's got his thing on the ground. He's eating it. I walk up to the dog and I go loud, I go clap, and I say, hey, it is not a punishment. I'm not yelling at a dog. I'm trying to do a, a noise, something that hits their brain. I go, I go, hey, and I go, wah. And the dog literally, usually, goes, oh my gosh. And they look up at me, as opposed to this, like, I'm gonna come get the thing, like, you're just setting up, and the dog goes, there he is, lips lift a little, lips lift a little more, like, you can't do that anymore. We can't have this slow thing. We gotta go big and different. And I go, wham, wah, and the dog goes, huh. And then I instantly walk into the dog, and I tell him, I tell him, like, this is not your thing. And I'll sometimes step on it, like, I'll back him up, but just over them, go. Then I step on the thing, and then I might tell him, go. Then I pick it up. Sometimes I'll act like I'm eating it. Or if they do it with other dogs, I'll give it to the other dog. You have to be careful with that. And then I'll give it back to him. So you got it, he's got it. Do we wanna do this now, right now? Uh, I don't want anyone getting bit I mean, in a pet store. You wanna try? I don't, no, 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 let's, I mean, I don't want you getting bit, dude. Yeah. Don't get bit, but I also wanna, dude, kinda wanna do this. Okay. What do you think? So you just bit it. That, wasn't too bad that wasn't bad at all. Yeah, no. That was. Let me see. What's his name? Roman. Roman. Good boy. It actually wasn't great. Like he held onto it like a Malinois yeah. and growled on his way up. If you guys didn't see it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I would give this guy, I would take this yeah. and I would give him cahoots treats or giant pieces of chicken every time you take this. Every time, okay. Have you done that? Yeah, I've done two Kongs and exchanged. Okay, but so, that's two Kongs. Right. I think this is better than this. What okay. do you think? Yeah, yeah. Dark meat, yeah, chicken? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Roman, I know, I know, I know. Now we can, we can, we can train to leave it. Leave it. Roman, leave it. Yes. I, listen, I didn't go to the leave it right away because I got him. Yeah. Because I don't think you're really solving the problem with just training a leave it. Mm -hmm. 
but I like it, right? If he can leave it, which he just did. Roman, leave it. I'm not saying we solve the problem, though. Yeah. But my God, he's already leaving it. Maybe he already did that. I don't know. Yeah. But I think we are solving the problem a little bit with what I just did. Yeah. I had it. He, he, I, and then when he was done, I, you saw me. I was kind of yeah. rough with him. Like, yeah. I just, like, pulled it up. And right. then I'm like, no get away from it. Yeah. Like, this thing is not, this thing is not really his. Yeah. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of ours. I know I sound hardcore. I'm not saying we do that with this dog. I'm saying we do that with this dog. These guys have a reputation. They're a tough breed. You're a tough guy. Like, you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You want, a, you want a good, awesome Malinois? Yeah. You're not really messing around yeah. in life. This is a no mess around deal. Leave it, treats. Mm -hmm. it's, eh, it's great. It's, but it's, yeah. I don't, you know, does that make sense? No, does, like yeah. the attitude, you yeah. saw how he worked with yeah. him. Yeah. And then, but then even that one time he, I was like pulling him away. I don't remember what I was doing. And then he eventually looked at me. I gave him the, a better treat than, than he got from that. So you do want to reinforce it, but you also want to be like, I'm taking this stuff. But you can't just take stuff from your dog all day and be like, I run the show. I know I sound like that sometimes. I, I gave him three big pieces of chicken at different moments in there, even when he wasn't great. So like have this trade out thing, but like ultimately I'm getting it, but you'll get something good too. Right. Yeah, does it make sense? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you're a good boy. So and this is this is not a good shirt, right? No. Does it look old or does it look like kind of not bad? Uh, yeah. I would just That's take it off. It. Okay. It, it looks bad. It, is. Yes. it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> I, 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 I knew like it, it looks... when it was new, 